All right, hello everybody. Uh, this tutorial is going to be how to make a simple Google form. So I'll try to run through as much as I can within the constraints of five minutes. Here we go. Um, I am currently in my Google Drive, as you can see. Um, the first thing you wanna do is think about where you want the Google form to be stored in your drive. I'm gonna go into uh, my COVID folder. I'm gonna go into SCMS specific and I'll go into, um, actually, I'll just put it right in here. Okay, I'll put it right here. So when you know where you're gonna put it, all you need to do is click new. Most likely you're gonna to have to click more. And then all these other options come up. And the first one that comes up usually is Google Forms. You click it. All right, now let's start building our Google Form. And let's say I want to create a Google Form uh, wondering how um, the math lesson went. Okay, so I'm gonna do math eight um, exit ticket May 1st as an example. Okay, I'll just name it something like that. Um, you want to make sure the title up here under untitled form, as you can see, I'll kind of highlight that up here. That will change the same thing as this, as long as you click it. So all you have to do is click that. And as you see, it changes automatically. Okay. So now we're going to start building our form. You just got to start creating questions. So, um, did you complete the lesson from, uh, April 27th through May 1st? And I'll just start building my answers. These are my answers. So question one is, did you complete the lesson? Uh, I'll do yes. I just hit enter no. Or I can put, let's say, um, let's give it, uh, still working on it. Something like that. Let's get rid of this guy. Okay, so there's question number one. And if I want to add a question, it's very simple. There's a little uh, prompts over here. Let me move my, my uh, ugly mug there. If you want to hit the plus sign, all right, how about what gave you the most trouble on the lesson question? And automatically, um, what's nice is usually Google Form, in this case it didn't, look at this. Um, Google Form is usually coming up with an answer of what, how kids should answer. So it's recognizing this question as a multiple choice question. I don't want it as a multiple choice question. I wanna save it as a like a short answer for kids. And if you click that carrot down, once again, if you click this right here, this little carrot, all right, um, it gives you all of these choices, short answer, paragraph, multiple choice, check boxes, a lot of these cool things to click. So I want it to be a short answer. And as you can see, it changes from a multiple choice to a short answer, all right? So let's say there's my two questions I wanna ask as my exit ticket. I just created my Google form. You don't want to go up here, copy, and then paste it for the kids to access because if you do that like you have editing rights this thing is editable all right in order to send it to kids or send it to parents you need to go ahead and click send all right let me get the highlighter on here again i'm going to click send and then you have all of these um different options you can send it ver uh, via email a link those are the two i use the most uh, i really like the link because when you click link it gives you this long url and you can actually shorten it and then what you could do is copy that link and then I'll just hold copy. All right. I'll cancel out of here. And then what you could do is you can go into your Skyward email and you can paste that link in there. So watch this. If I go and paste it somewhere, this is not editable. Even though I have editing rights, it's not editable. I'm clicking all over the place and it's not editable at all. Okay. Um, I'm going to answer this really quickly to just to show you what answer responses look like. All right. So I clicked yes. I clicked number four in the bridge book, gave me the most trouble. There you go. You could do student name. You could do anything that you'd like, right? All right. So let's say I'm a student and I completed this form. All right. Let me get rid of this. I'm going to go back to this and look what happens right here. What's really cool is now you have a responses number. So one person responded, one student. So if I click that, all right. You can see the responses the students gave, which I just answered as a student. So uh, did you complete the lesson? Yes. And remember, I put number four in the bridge book. There you go. But what's really cool about this is if, once again, I've created a video on this before, is if you go right here, this little green Google Sheets button, if you click that, what's really nice is it automatically creates a Google Sheet for you. You create a new Google Sheet, just click Create, and it'll automatically pop up on my window. Got about 15 seconds here. And you can see all of your answers in a row. So like the date, the timestamp, if you did a student name, their answers, so on and so forth. Okay. So that is how you create a Google. And once again, it's, it's right there where I started it, right? In my, in my drive. So that's how you create a Google.